So my name's Tyler Sadler. I am the colour consultant for GJ Garden Homes on the Northern Beaches. My role in the business is to help the clients bring their dream home to life using all inspiration drawn from their mood boards. There's a lot of resources out there for clients to draw on. So the process, how I like to run it, is to start with the outside. We start from you know all the external colour selection, from roof, cladding, cladding selection, um, colours, front door, garage door, and then we move inside. We select flooring, kitchen selection from the different finishes, be it a polyurethane or a, you know, Laminex kitchen, bench tops. We select the stair from balusters. We've got the different types, the chamfered, the square, half height chip rock wall. I think the selections that work for different homes is definitely dependent on the area where you live, you know, be it on the beaches, be it a bit further inland. And I find that clients who have a good vision and have prepared for their selection process, rather than you know, choosing what their friend has done or a family member's done, you know, just putting their own personal stamp on it, making it their home rather than, you know, somebody else's. So the mood board that, um, or the flat lay that I have created for today's exercise is drawing on texture, uh, natural elements, rather than going for something very colourful, something that's going to be more timeless and just bringing sort of the softness of the natural stone, textured tiles, in the wet areas a little bit of color you know in your laundry just have a bit of fun in the wc it's always good to go with select a feature tile I, I do like feature tiles it creates that textural difference as well as just giving it that nice uh, focal point in the bathroom be it behind the vanity uh, in a shower however a pop of color every now and then is is, is it a good way to have fun in the bathroom in a family home, floor tiles for the wet areas, I would say nothing too dark because that's going to show a lot of dust and dirt. Something that's uh, got a bit of variation in it that will hide the dirt. So we built the display home and it was finished in April last year. It was a really, really fun project and part of it was just to try and get a lot of points of difference. I really wanted to use the same stone outside um, as well as inside which is what we did we carried it through we just laid it in a different pattern so we use the european oak timber flooring in our selection process it's a beautiful product our personal favorite which has been around for a while it's the latte being a natural element the no matter what your color palette if you have a lot of greys in your colour palette, the, the timber will bring uh, a lot of warmth to the space. If you have a neutral, warmer colour palette, it just enhances that and completes the look of the home. During your planning phase of your build process, um, it's really good to look at a variety of homes and get an idea of what sort of palette you're looking to do. If you're looking at a contrasting or a complementary pa um, palette, the contrasting sort of being, you know, light roof, dark house, dark house, light roof. A bit like the display home that we uh, did a black exterior with a light roof. We had the beautiful timber on the back wall, dark um, island bench and um, a beautiful Caesar stone bench top, which was the card burst and it really just brought the whole thing together. My favourite part of the process would probably be, well, as much as I love doing the colour selection process, would be going to the handovers. Um, you get to really see their client selections come to life and remember the times when we had our meetings and we selected that tile and we selected that feature wall. It's really fun, it's, it's a definite talking point and um, it's great to see the clients happy in the spaces that they've created.